This is another unit conversion question. Um, I'm going to do it in a way that make the unit involve exponents because I want to demonstrate um, how to deal with such unit. In this case, meters square into square feet. I want to show this because often student gets a little bit lazy and they try to bypass some steps and they end up missing a very crucial step. So I'm going to demonstrate to you my method, which helps me avoid that very simple mistake to make sure I get it right every single time. So first, I'm going to find the area. This is a simple calculation, right? You've got a soccer field, which is uh, got some area that's length times width, right? And we're told what the length and width is, so we just plug in the number, and we end up with a fairly sizable amount of area. Then we take this number, that's the actual part of the problem, where we take the meter square and we want to change it into feet square or square feet. But we're only given the conversion factor from meters to feet, not square meter to square feet. So what we do is, just like algebra, we again represent the uh, conversion ratio as a factor of one. So we have, in this case, we want the meter underneath to get rid of some of the meters, and we want the feet on top, but we want the top and bottom to be worth the same thing giving us a factor of one. But instead of just the one meter, we have meter square. So what we can do then is we square the entire factor so that underneath we actually have meter square and on top we end up with feet square. And it's this bracket square business that is a good reminder that we don't just deal with this conversion once, we deal with it twice, right? The 3.281 shows up twice. In a sense, you can kind of think of you know, we take each of these meters and converting them, right? So we end up with two factors of the 3.218. But if you're just given meter square, then you can just use this method with the exponents. Again, now it's all calculator work, even lengthier number. And since we only start with three digits in each of our numbers, let's just round it with scientific notation, that many square feet. Hopefully all these are good review for you guys and you've seen it before, but this is the way I hope you guys would do unit conversion and tracking all your units throughout your problems throughout this course.